Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play with Aspo, which we are playing Respublica uh, with the Hansa, our merchant republic. We are in a coalition war against... Uh, well, this is the coalition. Uh, thankfully, uh, this war is just against England, uh, Ferrara, Utrecht and uh, Saxe-Lauenburg. So it's uh, just a small part of the coalition, thankfully. Uh, this uh, red blob would be devastating. <laughs> so, so we are happy for the small things. Now, Bremen has entered into the coalition. That is worrisome. Well, thing is, I can't really get to Utrecht, so this is, uh, for now, this is going to be a waiting game again. Since I can't get to seeing these ships here, can't really get into England. Uh, would you look at that? They will arrive in Hamburg. So let's try to get to Hamburg before them. Probably won't. May 23, May 7. Well, maybe. Yeah, I'll get there in time. And they will get a landing penalty. There we go, crossing, minus two. Ah, this is good. And they don't have a leader. Well, good luck, England. There we go. They lost. Uh, yeah. Skilled diplomat. One of our ambassadors has a pre uh, preternatural ability for understanding the entangling alliances that surround us and the implications of taking one wrong step or saying just the right words. How shall we use this great statesman? We could get one more diplomatic relation or we could get 50 diplomatic power. Uh, well, we are five out of four. So how long will this diplomatic re re relation last us? It would be for five years. Now five times twelve is sixty diplo power. So I would actually get more from having the having this guy, but it would be ten more over the t uh, over. Uh, five years time. So yeah, I'm probably gonna go with the 50 straight up. Yeah. Seems like a good idea. Having to wait five years for 10 extra diplo power. Seems silly. Uh, especially if I Annex Brunswick in two years. Uh, so, let's see. We are not going to conquer Holstein. Uh, we are not going to create a proper, proper fleet. And we can't improve our relations. Oh well. Uh, let's uh, keep improving our relations. Ah, cheaper uh, Diplo Annex. And more trade power. So, Cologne and Lüneburg, you are up next. Uh, there's Lüneburg. Let's uh, improve our relations. And there's Cologne. Let's improve relations. Trying to keep my vessels happy so they don't revolt against me before I can diplomatically annex them. Uh, now, no new missions. We are getting the ticking war score for controlling our uh, uh, capital. Finding the words can be hard sometimes. So, trade was heavily regulated during this era, but despite this, the markets were not fixed. At times, merchants would try to enter new markets or sell new goods. Merchants facing these conditions would usually demand new or higher tariffs to stop their competitors. So, diplo power or mercantilism? Now, I usually pick mercantilism, uh, because it's hard to come by, I think. But, uh, it gives... Uh, where's Here it is. 
it gives us uh, provincial trade power. And we don't have a lot of provinces, so for this I will probably go with the Diplo power. It's useful for our uh, ideas. Uh, no new mission. How's our... Candidates why for opportunities. As a republic, we strive to strike a balance between economic interests and tradition. We choose our advisors accordingly. Families who know this, patricians and aristocrats alike, try to plan ahead and get their representatives into positions of opportunity before they seek to advise the Siegfried Gebert directly. Uh, I guess that's my Stadthalter, yeah. Uh, the Siegfried Gebert. He's the one and only. A position offering such opportunities recently opened, and now different parties are pressuring us for it. There can be no pleasing everyone, and someone has to be appointed soon. Someone experienced in military matters would be of use. So, we would lose aristocrats, and we would gain aristocrat influence, and lose with the traders. We would gain a commandant, which I guess is... Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, a discipline advisor. We already have one of those. Uh, and we would lose diplo power. Or we could get a trader, who was military power, get uh, influence with the traders, lose with the aristocrats. Uh, I could actually use a trader. I don't really need the spy offense anymore. And trader is 10% uh, trade income. Or trade efficiency, but that's more or less uh, the same. So... Uh, Let's just, uh, yeah, we're gonna lose 10 with the aristocrats, but it won't be that. We'll lose the 3.13 that's left, I guess. So let's, uh, let's commerce. Commerce come fir comes first in the Hansa. I guess I should try to get the aristocrats in power. And now that uh, I'm at war, get some extra morale, but uh, yeah. Eh... Why? Why bother with that? So they can go negative. Now we're at total 110% with these two, and minus 10% with this one. Oh well. Let's, uh, that might actually give us a few events, probably, being at negative 10% with the aristocrats. Or maybe it would give us some aristocratic rebels or something. Who knows? We'll have to see. Exciting. Monster declared war on their enemy Oldenburg. Well, good luck with that. They used to be my ally, but not anymore. Rival of our rival is uh, Oldenburg. Well, I can't. They hate me because I broke my alliance. Uh, so, let's continue being it. Having no mission. We could probably uh, annex these soon. 1460, so two years, roughly, a bit more. Two years by now. Uh, yeah, uh, war taxes, no. Even though we have excess power, let's uh, let's boost our stability. We have um, a lot of admin power, so we might as well. And let's see if we can. No, we can. We only have 0.10 inflation. So, trying to use my admin power before we get too much. Let's build a few buildings. 13%. Now we could probably get out of this war by now, uh, but we'll wait a while. See if we can't uh, get some money out of it as well. Uh, so, 14%. It's uh, it's rising because of the ticking war score. It has it's at 14% now, and I think it will take as high as 25%. So it's worth waiting. Uh, Burgundy left the military coalition. That's great. Europe is a bit less red. So what to do now? Except wait. Let's check up on uh, our nation. So, uh, yeah, 
Disagree and advisor. I always think it's a good idea to lose 5 prestige for 25 power. We got admin power. Uh, we could probably try to annex uh, Brunswick and Brandenburg at the same time. Uh, it would be a good idea, I think. If you just annex one of them, then they get uh, minus 30%. So, we have another uh, coalition war. This time, Savoy and Mecklenburg. Do they increase? No. Well, that's stupid of you, Mecklenburg. Why did you do that? Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna eat you. I will eat your only province, and I will probably take Lauenburg as well. Uh, in this peace deal, we should be able to do that. Silly people. Oh, look, they got Baden and Bavaria into the war as well. Baden is uh, it's over here, I think, somewhere. Isn't it? Yeah, there it is. And Bavaria is there. So, yeah. Could have done that. Savoy is kind of kind of large. Well, this won't um, this won't really be a problem, I think. Uh, I hope not. Let's just uh, well can uh, can get this one home, see if we can't uh, get a peace with uh, the English coalition war. 15% to get Lauenberg. Uh, we are at negative 10. Uh, we could wait out the length of war. Yes, we'll have to do that. Uh, or get their war exhaustion up. Well, we would probably need to blockade them some for that. What else can we do? Well, we're never going to return any course. Uh, no, no, no. I wish... Saxe Lauenburg. Well, it's the same. 10%. Well, let's wait then. See if we can get our war score a bit higher. Uh, Denmark has declared another coalition war. Uh, and Austria just didn't defend us. Danish Hanseatic. Now this one is the big one, I see. Uh, this will hurt. This will be very, very painful. But we can uh, use our uh, our ships to hopefully get these uh, this sound or this uh, crossing blockaded so they can't get into uh, onto my mainland with more troops. Let's. Uh, get more galleys and uh, yeah, let's win this war let's win it we're in it to win it Friesland we're going into Potsdam, yeah well, that's no problem let them have their fun. I think it's a good thing that it's uh, Denmark being the war leader because we can easily uh, get to their lands. Having England and uh, Savoy, isn't it, as a war leader over here is uh, a bit more troublesome because uh, they're uh, Home territories are so far away. Oh, there's the Savoy army. They have a lot of crap there. Uh, what would it take to get a white piece with you? Probably a lot. Oh well. We have something to work with. Uh, they are going into Lunenburg. So let's attach to them 
uh, they have a 3-5. Three, 3-5-5, five. Three, five, five. that's a really good commander. Uh, we are going to win this war with that one. I tell you, we are successfully keeping that, uh, well, probably not anymore. 25. <laughs> well, there's our navy. There goes our navy. Uh, there's our troops. Keeping our guy in power, of course. Now, these these kinds of leaders, 5... Where is he? 355. Five. Oh, they are hard to come by. Oh, well, there we go. Now, could I get peace? Hansa is making gains. No, minus 63. No way. Even though we have Mecklenburg, Bavaria and Baden. Well, we're not getting to them because they're behind a lot of provinces, a lot of countries. Oh, well. Let's see if Brandenburg can't... Uh, Make some more gains for us. We lost uh, Mecklenburg again. That sucks. And we have a cardinal. Mm hmm. Can we peace out? No. Minus 15. I can't even get a white piece. Concession of defeat is not enough. What do you want? Hans, I will end... No, I will not end my vassalization of Brunswick. Go to... Go to hell. Okay. Going to Brunswick. Where's our France? There's Sweden. Is Lithuania in this war as well? Oh my god, yeah, they are. They're in a union under Poland, and Poland is in the in this coalition war, I guess. Well, I'm gonna lose this one, for sure. I was hoping to win these two, but uh, yeah, uh, well, that might be a problem. Seeing as uh, I've got... Uh, 150,000 troops in my home territories, uh, plus uh, another 50, so that's 200,000 troops, roughly. And uh, yeah, where did my... there we go. Going into Atrist. Oh, good thing about uh, Munster during the war, I can get... Uh, I can get it. I can get Utrecht. Uh, yeah. That's not gonna help me win any wars. So let's just... Uh, guilds push for mer mercantilist reforms. Mercantilist economy, uh, economic theory has become fashionable among influential guild members lately. They are, of course, highly knowledgeable in these matters. And also, coincidentally, likely to benefit from the policies they are backing. Others are not as likely to benefit. Powerful traders operating inter internationally claim that these theories constitute a dead end and will fight tooth and nail to prevent the Republic from adopting them. With the support of the guilds, it may be possible, but not without political upheaval. So this is, uh, I guess it's a choice between the traders and the guilds. Uh, yeah, so we can gain diplomatic power by siding with the traders, or we can gain mercantilism by siding with the guilds. And we'll also lose 100 power, so this is uh, a 150 power swing to get one mercantilism. Uh, so I'm just gonna go with the traders. Should look at this, 82%. And they're up 5. So, yeah. I wonder what happens if you get to 100 with a faction. Let's see if we can... What happens now? Does that... We'll see what happens. 
Battle of Hanover. We are winning battles uh, with this uh, monster general of uh, Brandenburg. So that's fun. Uh, although we are waiting for the huge battle that will put us down. This one, I guess. 17 troops, 24. Yeah. 30? 39? <laughs> Half of Europe in this battle. Uh, let's see if we can... Minus 19. How about a concession of defeat? No. What do you want? No, I will not end the vessel of Brunswick. I will probably have to do it anyway, but uh, yeah. Let's increase our military tech and uh, let's see about this uh, being ahead of time thing in uh, uh, in admin tech. Now, if I'm correct, uh, our production efficiency should yeah, look at that. Ahead of time in admin tech, plus 20%. So I already am getting that bonus just by being where I am. Uh, now, if I get this, will that increase my bonus or will it just extend it? It would have probably just extend it to flat 20%. How about trade? Yeah, I'm not getting that. Well, that's because I'm at Diplotech 3. So, yeah, admin tech is... Uh, oh, 999. Hate it when that happens. Uh, let's, uh, let's boost our stability. Well, this war is lost. All, the, all of these wars. Mm, and I guess this uh, campaign is in Shatter. Shattered. Uh, it was a fun run, but um, sadly uh, we were a bit too quick with the first war, vassalizing all of this. Should have uh, should have waited a bit, I guess. State propaganda. Uh, what was that? Well. That's what you get from uh, clicking too fast. You miss what happened. Uh, oh, was that the idea I got? Yeah, it was. Uh, screw the missions. This is... Um, <laughs> has the uncon's conquest of Westfalen. Would you look at that? We are still making gains against... Uh, England. How about a concession of... Now they accept my concession of defeat. There we go. Thank you. Uh, our troops are there. Can we get them home anyway? No, we can't. Oh, they're attached to Brandenburg. Well, I'll let them handle that then. Uh, our war with Savoy? No? What do you want? And the vassalization of Brandenburg, Brunswick and Cologne? No. I'm gonna have to give them up anyway soon. I'll keep them for now. Let's just waste some tech. I've been power. <sighs> now we have... Uh, not going to do any of those. We can um, invest in Cardinal. It's this one. Let's do that then. Not missions? No. Couldn't care less. This is kind of red. And uh, yeah. Guess that means we are dying. There we lost Lubeck. No. Our war score dropped with everyone, since we don't control our uh, capital anymore. Well, except for the Hessian Compost. That's not a coalition war. Now, what do you want? Brandenburg, Brunswick, Cologne, Anhalt and Lüneburg. So that's uh, 
two, three, four, five. That's all my vessels, and I will pay them 430 ducats. <laughs> we'll lose 125 prestige. How can they afford this? God damn it. Oh well. I'm gonna have to do that. Uh, this is just silly. Byzantine refugees. Uh, sure, why not? Uh, always helps having cheaper tech. Yeah, I am. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to end these wars. Uh, huh? No, I can't even get an offer. Well. Yeah, sure. Uh, we got another skilled diplomat. Uh, yeah, let's get some diplomat powers. Now I have no vassals. I've uh, I've probably lost a big chunk of uh, aggressive expansion, uh, getting rid of those vassals. It's at zero with almost everyone, uh, except for these. Um, Provinces in uh, the empire. I wonder why those don't go down. Well, that's how it is. Uh, okay. What do you want? I will release Hamburg as a sovereign state. Sure. Why not? Okay. Fine. Fine. Okay. Now why am I at war with you still? You're con you're having a war against Westphalen. Oh, so now it's uh it's a regular war where I am the war leader and everyone is free to peace out since they're no longer my vassal. Uh let's see. I could be What do you want? Well, sure, take Westfall and I don't care. I don't care at all. Okay. So, we lost everything in that war. Uh, we still have a lot of aggressive expansion, so I don't think this is uh, really going anywhere. We're back far behind where we started, and um, kind of feels like a waste of time continuing this. Uh, we did get a quick look at the faction uh, mechanics as well as uh, the national focus and uh, we got a few events about the factions. Uh, we could... Well, we have too, too much Republican tradition to get into a... Uh, why do I lose that word all the time? What's it called? God damn it! It's a... Um, well, you know what I mean. God damn it. Oh, well. Forget about it. Uh, it's uh, Anyway, it's too many elections uh, left before we get get there. So, yeah, uh, I'm losing my concentration now, <laughs> so let's, uh, let's end this episode and this uh, particular game with this. Uh, we got a... we did not actually get a look at the trade post mechanics. I never did find those. Uh, so I wonder... We'll have to to check about check up on that later. Uh, we will probably be looking at that in my Venice campaign as well when I continue that. Uh, but for now, we'll end this episode, and I think I will make a few more episodes uh, playing as uh, the Netherlands to see the the new mechanics for the Dutch Republic. But uh, yeah, the Hansa game is. Uh, over for now.
seeing as uh, Europe is red and I I've lost provinces that I started with so this is just silly. Uh, now thank you for watching this uh, train wreck of a game I hope you enjoyed enjoyed it at least somewhat uh, I'll uh, uh, I'll see you in the next episode then uh, with uh, the Netherlands. So uh, be sure to like and subscribe and uh, yeah, thank you. So long.